In this short video, I'm going to show you how to join a Microsoft Teams meeting and also a few housekeeping items once you're in the meeting to understand how to navigate the tool properly. So as a user, I've received an email to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. It's as simple as clicking this hyperlink here and it will open up a web browser automatically. If you are a user that already uses Microsoft Teams, you could click open and it would open or launch the desktop application. If you're a user that's never used the tool before and you do not have the desktop application, that's completely fine. You hit cancel and join the web instead. And then at that point, it's going to take you into the meeting through a web browser. So when you hit join now, it will go in and connect you into the meeting. This is what it looks like and it shows me that Deborah is already in my meeting, but I've joined in the web. Here is the navigation rail. If you move your mouse away and your mouse becomes inactive, as you can see, the navigation rail will go away. In order to get that back, you just move your mouse and then here is all of your settings for your meeting. If you're in a web browser, you want to make sure you have pop ups allowed so you can hear your microphone here. This is how you turn your camera on and off. So camera here. Hello and you can turn it off. Camera's optional, so if you don't have a webcam built into your computer, that's no problem. You do not have to have your camera on to join a meeting. Here's how you mute and unmute your microphone. I have it muted for this recording, so I don't have feedback loop because I'm actually in a couple of meetings here to record this. Here's where you can share your desktop as an external user. So if you're having a meeting and someone wants you to share content or share your desktop, you click that here and choose the window that you want to share out. The more actions is where you can start the recording if you have that functionality. And then your device settings is very important. So when you click on device settings, if you have a, a headset, or if you want to use the speaker or microphone, this is where you can adjust those settings and turn on your camera front and back as well. Here's where you can raise your hand in a meeting. So if someone is talking and you don't want to disrupt them, you can just click this button and raise your hand and you can re-click it to lower your hand. In the show conversation, this is where you can have an interactive chat with everyone that's in the meeting. So you can send that in case, again, you want to have a sidebar conversation during a meeting and not interrupt the, the presenter. Anyone in a meeting can see and read the chat, so please keep that in mind. And then show participant list will show you users that are in the meeting currently. Um, if you have the option, which I do not because I'm just considered an attendee, but here if I wanted to mute someone, this is where you can mute or remove participants again if you have that functionality. And then when your meeting is finished, you hit the hang up and conclude your meeting. And that finishes this video. Thank you.